like to introduce you to little Sophia Greenleaf. Our daughter was born on March 4th at 10.30 p.m. She came 10 days early. You may have noticed that I just recently uploaded my 38 week update and that is an entire week late. <laughs> I would have been 39 weeks um, just this weekend. Um, but I filmed that the day before she was born, so for obvious reasons, did not get that up. <laughs> but we are just so happy she's here. Um, I will do a longer birth story later, but in a nutshell, what happened was um, my when I went in for my midwife appointment last Wednesday, they um, took my blood pressure again and got some of my lab work back and it looked like I was starting to get slightly borderline preeclamptic. Um, you guys know that they had been monitoring me for that and um, it was starting to look borderline and so she said how about we have a baby tonight? I said wait what? <laughs> and so um, she decided that it would be the best plan of action um, since I was over 38 weeks already and she was likely done cooking <laughs> um, to do a castor oil induction, just a natural induction. And so um, that's what we did and it worked <laughs> and she came that night at 10.30 p.m. and it was, oh look, are you smiling? Are you smiling little one? Um, she came much, much faster than <laughs> Alex did. You've heard me talk about how he was a 35 hour labor. This one was a six hour labor. And the last four centimeters were in 20 minutes <laughs> and she was out in three pushes. That's the Cliff Notes version. <laughs> I'll tell you all the details in a birth update later, but just wanted to give you guys a brief update about all that and introduce you to this little lady. So there she is. We are so, so absolutely in love with her. She's just perfect in every way and she's a good baby. She's just real chill and we just love having her in our family. So her stats were she was 7 pounds, 11 ounces, and 19 inches. She does have a big head. Her head is in the 99th percentile, so she's like her brother in that way, but um, managed to still get her out quickly anyway. I may be off YouTube for the next week or so, just kind of adjusting to our new life here, but after that, I will hopefully be um, doing some more videos talking about my birth story and, and updates on this little munchkin. So... Hope you guys are all having a great week and I will see you soon.